hello students today we are going to learn how to find square root of a number and you know there are three different methods to find the square root so let's learn one by one first one is repeated subtraction method as we know that a perfect square number is a sum of odd numbers consecutive odd numbers starting from 1 here for example 1 plus 3 when we are adding two odd numbers we are getting two square that's equal to 4 1 plus 3 also 4 two square equal to also 4 when we are adding 1 plus 3 plus 5 we are getting three square that's equal to 9 when we are adding 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, we are getting 4 square, that's equal to 16. So, in reverse order, when we are subtracting, then we are getting the square root. When we are getting the square root, when we are finding the square root of 16, We have to subtract the odd numbers, consecutive odd numbers starting from 1. 16 minus 1 equal to 15. In next step, we have to subtract 15 minus 3. That's equal to 12. Next, 12 minus 5 equal to 7. Now, 7 minus 7 equal to 0. Until we are getting 0. How many odd numbers are subtracted? 4 odd numbers are subtracted. That means under root of 16 equal to 4. In this way we can find by using the repeated subtraction method. Next prime factorization method. Here in this method we have to factorize the number and we know that a perfect square has pair of prime factors like here 16 the prime factors are 2 2 are 4 2 are 8 2 are 16 here in pair the factors are in pair suppose 144 144 when we are factorizing it is divisible by 2 2 7s are 4, 14 2 2s are 4 again 2 36 again 2 divisible by 2 2 1s are 2 2 8s are 16 again 2 9s are 18 it is divisible by 3 3s are 9 3 1 so the prime factors of 144 equal to 2 multiplied 4 times and 3 multiplied 2 times and all those prime factors are in pair that is equal to 2 square into 2 square into 3 square so it is the square of 2 into 2 into 3 that's equal to 12 square so under root 144 equal to 12 square under root that's equal to 12 so this is the prime factorization method in this prime factorization method first we have to find all those prime factors and we have to make the pairs and from each pair we have to take only one here from three we have to take one one factor only let us take another example 324 324 let us find the prime factors of 324 
it is divisible by 2 2 ones are 2 12 2 six are 12 2 twos are 4 2 eights are 16 2 ones are 2 it is not divisible by 2 so we have to make we have to take 3 3 3 is a 3 2 is a 6 3 7 is a 21 again divisible by 3 3 9 is a 27 now 3 3 is a 9 3 1 is a 3 so what are the prime factors now 2 is multiplied 2 times and 3 is multiplied 4 times and we have to now make pair and from each pair we have to take 1 because here it is 2 square into 3 square into 3 square and when it is under root we have to find the under root or square root that is equal to 2 into 3 into 3 and that is equal to 18. So, square root of 324 equal to 18. In this way, we are getting square root of a number by prime factorization method. Next one is long division method. In long division method, let us take one example 2304 now first step in long division method is making pairs 2 3 0 4 here it is four digit number so, we have to make pair of 2, 2. If there are 5 digit number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 digit number, then we have to start pairing from unit digit. These 2, these 2 and this 1. The last will be 1 because here we can use 1, 0. So, in this way, we are making the pairs. Now, next step is we have to divide the first pair 23 and we have to find the divisor also and how to get the divisor? We have to take one number and the number is multiplied by itself to get just less or equal to this pair 23. 23 is not a perfect square. So, just below we have to count. Here, 4, 4 is 16. 5, 5 is 25 is greater. So, 4, 4 is 16. Now, subtract 23 minus 16. Here, 4, 3, 7. Now, when we are bringing down the next digits, we have to bring down the total pair the both digits 0 4 and here 4 is multiplied here 4 4 is are so 4 is multiplied now we have to add this 4 plus 4 and we are getting 8 but after the the 8 will be the next digit and here there is a blank the unit digit is unknown and that unit digit we have to find here we have to which digit we have to put here we have to multiply with that number suppose 8 1 when we are taking this blank filling with this blank as 1 we have to multiply 81 ones are 81 next 82 2 are 2, 2 are 4, 2, 8 are 16. In this way, when we are multiplying 83, suppose we are taking 3 here, we have to multiply with 3. 3, 3 is are 9, 3, 8 is are 24. 
if we are taking 4 84 4 jar 4 4 jar 16 6 carry 1 8 4 jar 32 and 33 until the number is matching now 85 if we are taking here 5 we have to multiply with 5 5 5 is 25 5 carry 2 8 5 is 40 42 now 87 with 7 if 7 we are taking then it is we have to multiply by 7 7 7 is 49 9 carry 4 56 57 58 59 60 609 if we are taking here 8 then 88 multiply by 8 8 8 64 4 6 8 8 64 plus 6 that is equal to 70 now we have to put here 8 so 88 8 is 704 this is the process of long division method. Here no need to calculate all these to make you understand I have calculated all these. That means the digit, the unit digit you have to take so that the same number you have to multiply. If you are taking 1 then you have to take 1 until we are getting the reminder 0. Now under root of 2304 equal to 48. This is the process of long division method. Already we have learnt all those three methods. Now hope everyone understood. Thank you.